Alrighty, folks, welcome back to the Wild West Crypto Show. I'm Drew. I'm Brent. And we are coming to you from Kerrville, obviously, yes. but from Florida, from Blockchain Center in Miami, we have Miss Erica Gemma. Erica, how are you doing? I am doing really well today. Happy to be on the show, you guys. Thank you. Absolutely. So, so Brent, you hadn't had the, the pleasure of meeting Erica. No, let, I, you know, Erica, I never get to go on these nice trips. I'm here building our world headquarters and, you know, keeping all the home fires stoked and, and Drew's off running around meeting uh, pretty girls like yourself and going to Florida and real exotic places. So tell us, what what is the Blockchain Center there in uh, Miami, Florida do? So I would say the Blockchain Center is centralizing decentralization in a way, right? You have this online community where people exist online and they know each other on these computers, but it's wonderful because we're a place where people can come together. I mean, we had an event the other night and it's so funny because I have a very active chat room around Miami and I hear the conversations of the people in the room and they say, what's your username in the chat room? Like, what's your username in the chat room? So it's like these internet personalities are meeting in person and, and they love it because regardless, you, you need that human connection. So we really want to provide a place for these people uh, to feel like home, you know, contribute with us, grow with us. Yeah. yeah and that's, that's needed to create real community. Yeah, you know, no, absolutely. In fact, some of these kids need to quit using memes or whatever for their, for their icon. For who, their avatars. You know, I, just, yeah. I just stick my ugly mug up there and it's really, oh, Brett. Yeah, know, there you go. There you go. they see you somewhere. So, so Erica, when I first met you, you know, obviously duly impressed. You're, you're a young millennial. And yet you're one of these people that, that sees an opportunity and you're going to, you see an opportunity and you're going to seize the opportunity. And, and that's really what this whole country was founded on was uh, entrepreneurs. And in this space, one of the things that we love about it, cause we're both entrepreneurs right. have been our whole life. The, the cryptocurrency blockchain space is really going to be a huge rise to entrepreneurs globally. And, and you're leading the charge, not only for what you're doing there, but I mean, when we were down there two weeks ago and you had the mayor of Miami, I mean, you have gone and done a great job of engaging the who's who to get them involved in this movement. Tell us a little bit about what gives you the passion. Well, me in my interest in Bitcoin stems from like a political libertarian side. I mean, it's being interested in this, wow, like what is money? What is our money system? And now that we have technology that can make it better for everyone, why can we should use it? Uh, so for me, the driver is, is I'm not going to say political, but it's more economics, uh, just really wanting, you know, the, the unbanked population of the world to become banked. The people that maybe they do have banks, but they're not able to, I mean, they make what, 2% a year in their savings, which is really negative if you adjust for, adjust for inflation. It's providing better opportunities to people like this and just changing, I mean, changing the way that money is distributed. We have never had this type of technology for this to be possible before. So I'm excited to see like, what can we do with this? So uh, it's very much like, I want to bring opportunities. I want to see the way that the world turns in terms of the way that money moves around. I want to see like, wow, we can change that. So that's probably one of the biggest drivers. Um, another thing too, is just that here in Miami specifically, you have a culture that is, is so on board. This is why I'm able to like, the mayor comes out to the events. This is why, you know, we just are supposed to be meeting with the school board uh, to get blockchain curriculum into the middle schools. It's because everybody in Miami, they see this place as like, there's so much unused potential. Um, and then not only that, but it's like every city right now in the world is vying for who will become the next tech hub. Now here in Miami, we are already the Silicon Valley of Latin America, right? Nothing needs to change in order for that to happen. So let's use that as an advantage and see what talent we can bring here, what capital we can bring here, because really the average salary right now in Miami Dade is $30,000 a year. You know, that is not livable. So we wanna bring high skill jobs opportunities and also uh, tie in like Latin America for, for blockchain specifically. One of the reasons why we have so much traction is because blockchain is a global technology. And so for us as a major port to the Caribbean and Latin America, uh, it's kind of a no-brainer. And you know what? That that kind of passion warms my heart because, I, I mean, I wrote here in the local newspaper back in the early 90s. I was the guy. I was a, I'm a certified financial planner by training and a registered investment advisor. And so I'd write things about how Social Security was going broke and, 
and you know that we really didn't have uh, we really didn't have capitalism. We had crony capitalism, and and really pushing a free enterprise. And to hear the young kids and the ones we meet everywhere we go, I mean, it's so refreshing because uh, freedom is uh, contagious. Yeah. And once people start realizing that they can be free and that their money can be theirs, um, you just can't stop that. Yeah. Yeah. Eric, in the in the center that you got there, I mean, you you know, you're you're collaborating, but y'all do a lot of education in there. I mean, really, this is a full time gig. In part of our conversations, you left a great job to go out and chase this entrepreneurial dream. So tell us, kind of, your long term vision for what you're doing there. So long term vision uh, is really, I mean, you're right. I think a lot of people in this space. They're, they took a bet on their previous world. You know, the, I know a lot of people who were like high level M&A lawyers or people who like myself, I mean, I worked in aircraft leasing. I worked for banks. I worked for like, I mean, companies that did billions of dollars of transactions. Left that, started my own entrepreneurship here thing here because I see, and for me, it was like my company at the time, they were looking for, um, they were looking how to use the blockchain officially. I had already been telling them about Bitcoin, but then there was this whole, you know, blockchain, not Bitcoin thing. And then, you know, they started sending me around to all these places to learn about the blockchain officially. And when that happened, I just kind of saw the opportunity I, and I had to leave because it was like at the time I had already been running meetups around Bitcoin just in my spare time locally to bring the community together. And then when I saw like, okay, this blockchain thing, people are really like looking into it, developing on it so much. Um, I just knew like, this is a, I'm young. I like to take risks. So now is the time. Um, long-term vision though is definitely for one to make Miami the best educated city in the world when it comes to this technology. I mean, education, having educated people that brings opportunity that really changes, uh, the people that you can hire from a certain area, uh, for two, the long-term goal is to just really utilize the physical space that we have here. You know, let's bring this online community together. We have co-working desks, we have office space, we have events, uh, we have bigger parties. Let's bring the streets together. And not only that, but locally, the place that our building is located in Miami is has just been approved for major redevelopment. So it's not just the, it's 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 bringing global commerce here. And then the third thing that we're really interested in doing is that. We want to be like a clinic for blockchain company. So a blockchain company that maybe is already developed or one that is, is new can come to us. They can come into the center and we can set them up with, you know, a bank account. We can set them up with developers, with attorneys that know what they're talking about, with accountants that do crypto taxes. Uh, we just want them to be able to come here and use our resources and definitely act as an incubator uh, for these new companies to be able to grow quickly. You bet. I, I tell you what, Erica, believe it or not, but eight minutes is gone. <laughs> and so <laughs> I know, boom. But that was great information. So folks, listen, if you're going to Miami, you've got to make the Blockchain Center, get in touch with Erica, go by and see these folks, because I'm telling you, she's leading the All charge right. down there. Uh, Drew and, came back your biggest fan, but forget him. I'm now your biggest fan. <laughs> Thank you, Erica. Yeah, thank I'm you. I'm your guys' fan too. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you so much. We'll be in touch soon. Folks, thanks for watching Wild West Crypto Show. Please subscribe to us right here. And you can watch more videos right over here. Additionally, if you'll turn the little bell on, every time we upload a new and exciting video, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching the Wild West Crypto Show.